Hey people, this is Wee187 and welcome back to my Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Um, okay, so what I want to go over right now, since I did some changes, I did level up. Uh, am I recording? Okay, I am. Alright, I did level up Valor Form and I leveled up Master Form. I didn't bother with Wisdom or Limit yet, uh, mainly because, you know, I was like, oh, this is too tedious, I don't want to do this now. And I thought of a better place I could do this in a world that we haven't been to yet. Uh, actually, I, yeah, the final world, uh, which we obviously haven't been to yet, um, there's a great place I can think of that would be really awesome for training Wisdom Form, because it's pretty much all Shadow Heartless, and that's better than killing the soldiers. And, uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait on Wisdom Form. Besides, we can only get up to level 6 anyway, so I got, for Valor, it's easy, and Limit, I guess, would be easy too, but I was lazy. And for Master, it's easy. Um, I did that, that took like 5, five to 10 extra minutes after I stopped recording. Uh, so... Yeah, anyway, uh, I'm done with that for now. I do want to change back my things here from Oathkeeper to my Circle of Life because I like it. And uh, we can. Uh, yeah, let me give the Oathkeeper there. And then uh, for Valor Form, uh, we'll give you. Um, we'll give you Hero's Crest. Um, one down, there we go. My eye is itching, sorry, so I'm sort of like multitasking here. Um, okay, so I guess that's good for now. And, uh, yeah, I did also re-equip Goofy, because I forgot to. I haven't done his abilities yet, though. So I think we should go do that. Because he has nothing. Because, uh, remember uh, when, he, when he, like, pretend died, he trolled us? Uh, he comes back with all his abilities off. And completely unequipped, except for his shield. So we want to turn some of that stuff on. Uh, I'll give him Goofy Bash and Turbo. He doesn't have that much H or AP. Um, a second chance, and once more, obviously. Um... Hyper healing. Okay, I think that's good. I don't want to give him auto limit. That stuff is annoying. So, uh, yeah. Alright, there we go. And Donald's set. Oh, wait. I gotta turn these back on. I forgot about that. And, um... Okay, I think that's good. And I got to level 35. I think I got, like, an ability or something. Oh, by the way, by the way, speaking of abilities, I wanted to equip this. Uh, we now have Guard Break. Unleashes a powerful finishing combo move that pierces through a target's guard. Uh, so, yeah, I like that. So, I'm gonna equip it. And I think that's it. That's about it. We can continue on here with Mulan. Oh, there's also one more thing I want to do. You know what? I'll do it in a second. Because now that we're back... Here, after this cutscene. Oh, it's that guy again. Okay, so what I want to do, since, um, you see how the command menu is all Land of Dragony? Well, like, for the entire first half of the game, I've had it going along with the themes of the worlds, but now I want to change it, because I, in the second half of the game, I do like to change it back to the classic, uh, so that way it looks classic, like Kingdom Hearts 1, sort of. So, yeah, I'm going to keep it like that, probably for the rest of the LP, just because I like it. Oh my god, we got nobodies here. Uh, the only thing I noticed that's different, in Kingdom Hearts 1, it doesn't become yellow, it, become, er, it becomes red. See, this is the, by the way, uh, this area is the place in Kingdom Hearts 2 that you could do master from grinding. Just because uh, all these, uh, see, the cannons here, they all give, like, drive form things. And in Kingdom Hearts 2, normal, they respawn. Uh, so it's really, really easy. But here they don't respawn, these things here. Yeah, see, they explode and they drop these things. That's how you do it in Kingdom Hearts 2 regular, but uh, here I don't. Just because, yeah. I guess these things give HP. They're like the dynamite things. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's go up here. Yeah, I like the classic window, command window, a lot. So I think it looks very uh, clean and epic and amazing. So I'm going to keep it for now. Looks like he got away. Yeah. How come you're after somebody from Organization 13? What is that? <laughs> the guy in black. One of the bad guys! I knew it. There's a rumor in the Imperial City about a spy in black lurking in the mountains. I'd been up here tracking him, but when you arrived, I lost him. Ah. Oh. Sorry. Don't apologize, but I do wonder where he went. Oh, you're so nice, Mulan. I want to rewatch Mulan really bad. I, I wonder if it's on Netflix. We might actually, I might actually have it, like the DVD, somewhere. Oh God. Again? 
Word, Donald, word. Okay, first things first. Oh, it's you again. Hey, you! Quit sneaking around! You're gonna fight me here? We have Heartless to deal with. So we have to defeat the mysterious man. Whoa. That looks familiar just a little bit. He fights sort of familiar. I wonder who he could be. You know, let's do a speed trap here. I'm not spoiling anything. I'm just I'm just being weird here. It's just a coincidence. Oh, I love that arrow blade speed trap thing. It's so awesome. And yeah, if you if you didn't notice, we are alone for this fight, so we have no Mulan, no Donald, no Goofy. Uh, oh, we can't launch him into the air. That's weird. Uh, but you do have the speed trap heartless, which you can use to your advantage. So it's almost like the heartless are your party members because of the reaction command. Not really though. Here, we, I I love that speed trap thing though. It's so awesome. And he's not too hard actually. In my practice run, I uh, I think I was a little under leveled. I was like level 28 or something, and I died. I don't know why I was so under leveled there, but yeah, or not. No, I might have been level 30, but here I'm right now. I'm level 35, which is actually the recommended, uh, the recommended level for this world. So if anything, this should not be too hard. Oh, there you go. We don't even have to finish it. So it can't be him. He wouldn't be with the organization. Are you okay, Sora? Did you get him? Hmm. No. Oh, he's gone. Aw. What? You lost him? Anyway, what now? Well, I think that we better get rid of all the Heartless first. <laughs> what was that? We Come didn't on. set off a cannon we this time. We better get off the mountain. Okay. I don't know. Sora is confused. Poor Sora. Anyway, now we have Mulan back here. Yeah, I, I think I noticed when it was when it was the like the models weren't were blank before. I think that's just because the disc hadn't read it yet. Because I saw in somebody else's video that it did the same thing and then it loaded after a second. And I just didn't give it the time to load. So. Whoa. Heading for the city. We've Let's got go. to warn Shang. Yeah, these worlds are going to be really short now that we're done with. Like, we're in the second half. We actually might finish the Land of Dragons in this video if we're lucky. Maybe not. I, I don't know. I have some stuff I want to do, but. I don't think that's Riku. But it might be. <laughs> the Emperor looks so stern. He's like, I don't know, a very, like, Dumbledore-ish look about him. It's like, uh, you know how in the Harry Potter books it always says that Dumbledore has, like, the, the twinkle in his eye, but, like, when he's stern, like, the twinkle goes away or something, you know? I always thought that was a cool detail that they added, just because you can envision it so well, and that's what I love about the Harry Potter books, is it's so, uh, the descriptions are so... Like it's so simple to envision, and it's not—it's not overly complicated like some books or anything. It's just—it's perfect. I love it. Anyway, so now we have. Um, oh, I didn't want to attack these. We have these. These are the Neo Shadows right here. Uh, we first saw them in the secret ending of Kingdom Hearts One, but now they're back as normal enemies, which is cool. 
And uh, they were also in Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories before this game, so this isn't their first battle appearance. Uh, they were in Chain of Memories, which w was before this game, so yeah. Anyway, uh, they're pretty simple to kill. I do want to kill them though. I want to. I don't want to be ignoring enemies here because I, I do want to keep up with my levels, so I'm not too under leveled as we go on. Because we're not going to be sending, spending too much time in the worlds now. Where you know the second visit of each world is, you know, it, it doesn't last very long. Like I was saying. Oh, we can maybe get that now. Because now that we have. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm glad we got that. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of, like, uh, the one in Hollow Bastion in the town. I have to go back and get that soon. Uh, probably when we are going to visit that world again, because we have Space Paranoid second visit. Every Disney world has a second visit, so... Uh, yeah, pretty much we just go through all the worlds again, but uh, the story's a bit more interesting this time around. It's not just the Disney story. Like, the organization is doing stuff now, as you can see. And you notice that. Ow, don't you dare do that to me, you jerk. Alright, um... Here, let's kill these guys. Quit that. I should have the Hero's Quest. These guys are good with the Hero's Quest, because uh, once you have the Hero's Quest, then you can just do extra damage from the air. There we go. Yeah, see, I, I love doing air combos. They're so awesome. Um, okay. Yeah, see, there we go. It's so nice. Alright. So now we have that done. Let's move on here. So yeah, I, I like the the twirly thing here. It's nice. Um, yeah, I, I probably could do that a lot. I quick run in and I twirl a lot when I'm trying to get around fast. Oh, I should not be avoiding Heartless here. You know, that, that's, if anything, that's what's going to make the video long. But I don't want to... Like, I don't want to cut them out. Although, I, I noticed that, that that's what H.C. Bailey was doing in his FF12 LP. Like, I can't believe I never thought to do that when I was LPing that game. Uh, just, like, uh, edit out large chunks of enemies so that way it's like a random battle. Uh, but I, I don't want to do it here because it sort of cuts away from... This is an action game. It's not... I mean, Final Fantasy XII really isn't. Whereas this game, you know, it's all about that. So I don't want to cut that stuff out. But I wish I had done it in 12. It, it's such a great idea how H.C. Bailey is handling it. Huh? Everything's fine. Well now. Look who decided to show up. What, is that a problem? Oh, Donald, you're still angry at him? Nah. We're just glad you're not you're not in black cloaks. You saw him? Yeah, he's in the palace. Oh, Mulan just runs. He's worried about she's worried about Shang. So Another one of you guys? Your horses are annoying. Yeah, unfortunately we have to fight this stuff again. Defeat all of the Heartless. So, yeah. But, you know, it's not too bad. Oh, do I not... Oh, Bolt Reversal. Oh, I, I, I guess I don't have the thing where you press square anymore. Did I remove that? I don't think I did, but maybe I did. There we go. These that that bolt re bolt reversal thing does a lot of damage, so I guess it's good. Yeah, I don't have the square thing in the air combo anymore. I thought I had it, unless that was only in my practice run that I had it, and I didn't equip it here, which is possible. It might be in my abilities, and I just haven't equipped it. But I thought I would have noticed. There we go. I guess we can just do normal combos here, because that's what I've been doing anyway. It's not gonna make much of a difference now. There we go. Um, and now let's go attack. This horsey here. Yeah, I don't have it because I'm pressing square in the air and it's not doing that combo, so I guess I, I might have unequipped it by accident. I don't know why I would, but. Yeah, 340 experience. Not too bad experience. Um, some of the enemies later, like that other grinding spot, like the regular enemies, are going to give 800 experience, which is awesome. So that's why I want to grind there. But that's not till the end of the game, really. So, like right before the final boss, that's when I'll start doing that. Hopefully I shouldn't have to grind at all for the rest of the game until then. And that's really just to get to level 99, not to really grind because I'm stuck. I shouldn't have to grind for the story anymore at all for the rest of the game. To the palace, hurry. It should be smooth sailing from here on out, so... Oh, I still have to do the... Well, we can't get to Olympus Coliseum right now anyway, but I still have to do all those cups. 
and I have to research how, how you do the Cerberus Cup, because, like, that Cerberus fight, it gives you 30 seconds or something to kill, like, his five bars of HP. I still haven't oh, researched no. how to do that yet. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's really simple. I just, I'm lazy, that's all. Over here! What are you gonna do, Mulan? Oh, we're gonna do the pole climbing thing? Yeah, just like in the movie, I love it. Although in the movie, doesn't she have like those the two metal ribbon things to help her up? I think those weighted her down. They didn't help her up, but well, they might have helped because in the movie, like the ribbons tie knotted around at the end, around the pillar. I don't know how you have the the friction to hang on there, because it's like perfectly smooth, and Sora's just hanging on there with. Like two feet in one hand. I don't know how he does that. Or Mulan, or anyone. I mean, maybe Donald, but... And Donald should be able to fly, anyway. He's a duck. And yet he's the one who falls. It's like in Wonderland, Goofy falls in the first game. Anyway, uh, I think we can leave. Yeah, we can go out there now. And I guess if you do that, you unlock it, but there's no point. Hey, you. Wait! Riku? Huh? Oh? No, never heard of him. What? he goes. Yeah, that's Zigbar. His name is Zigbar. If you didn't know, I've pointed it out before, but you never know. You could have forgotten or something. I love this music. This might have been the Thousand Heartless music, too. I think. Actually, this probably was a Thousand Heartless music. I just think it's so cool. And uh, this warp spine you can do here, it does a lot of damage, so I recommend doing it. There we go. You can still do reverse along in Dusks, but they're simple. I've got nothing to talk about, I'm sorry. Oh cool, we leveled up, magic. And another air combo boost? Yeah, it's trying to do warp spine on me, but it's not winning. I shall win. So yeah, I just finished watching, um... I was talking about this in FF13 the other day, but that's when I was still in book two. Uh, I, I finished watching Avatar The Last Airbender after seeing Korra, and now I just uh, I just finished book three, so I'm totally done now. But then I found out there's like these extra uh, comic book things, and I, I guess it's not manga because it's technically not an anime to begin with. It's an American, it's an anime-inspired American cartoon, but uh, still. I mean, I know like the writers had the entire staff watch FLCO before producing Avatar, just because they wanted to. That was like heavy inspiration. Um, but yeah, I finished it, and now I'm, I'm reading those like the comics that like that bridge the gap between like Avatar and Korra, and I, it's so interesting. I love it. And it's cool because it's not that long after this, the series end. It's only like a year after, so you know everyone's still kind of the same age then. So, uh oh. Oh yeah, that, yeah. Kind of forgot about that. Ah, so it is as the young man said. Is that, isn't that right, Captain? Y yes, Your Excellency. You see, a young, a young stranger visited us, bleh, visited us not long ago. The Captain fought the visitor, but was quickly defeated. To my dishonor. It seems that young man was the one in black that I have heard whispers about. Did he mention the name Riku? He didn't offer his name. He was rather rude. Rude? Then it was Riku. Yeah, that's how you figure it out. Riku's in the organization? Gorsh. But why would he come here? Whoa. I'll check outside. Cool. So yeah, I guess Mulan. Shang, guard the Emperor. I'll be fine with them. Yeah, of course, we'll protect you. That's right. <laughs> Sora's scared. Indeed, that is true. We need not worry while you protect us. Hurry! 
Okay, let's go. Actually, we're gonna go in the next episode. Although I'll get these treasures now quickly. We're like closing in at uh, closing in on 20 minutes here. So, oh, okay, there's the next torn pages. And let's grab this up here. A queen recipe. Ooh, there's a treasure back there. I almost forgot. I almost always forget about these two. Not even one. It's two. Oh, yeah, the aura chalcum. We're gonna need those for creating the ultimate weapon. Every one of them. So let's make sure we don't forget any here. There's another one. And finally, an ogre shield. Oh, Goofy, you want a new shield? There you go. Yeah, the ogre shield. That looks kind of cool. Is that a swan? I never noticed that before. Oh my god, what's that doing here? It's so weird. Yep, there's one more down here too. And yeah, the AP boosts. Um, I should probably do them now before... I forget and people start reminding me. Not that I mind. Because otherwise I'm not going to do it if you don't remind me. But it's easier if I get it over with now. Yeah, I think we're going to need Glide for that. So we can't get those now. Anyway, I'm going to save. And in the next part, we will continue on in the Land of Dragons. And finish up the Land of Dragons. And then probably get on to the next world. So, yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. I'm probably going to do Atlantica right after this. Because the next episode is available. I'm pretty sure. And then we'll get on to Beast's Castle. So, goodbye everybody.